Hey, what's going on guys? My name is James and welcome back to another video. So today is episode two of It's Kibble Talks Watches. Cool, so before we get into today's video and a question from an actual subscriber, which is really awesome, the first question, so I appreciate it. If you have any questions, please do leave them either in the comments or email me. But I just got a package in and I think it's another watch, so... Let's open it up and have a look, shall we? Okay, so I was wrong. It's not actually a new watch. It's a new strap that I bought. This is a rubber strap, and I bought this for this Seconda. This is um, my Quartz Seconda watch. I think that's a bit more focused, but I bought this rubber strap for this Seconda right here. Um, my, my plan was if I wear a rubber strap on it, I might wear it more with it becoming summer. I think, I think this will look pretty good on a rubber strap anyway, but we'll swap that over at some point and I'll probably tweet out some pictures or Instagram, so go check out Instagram. Anyway, now that's out of the way, let's get on to today's question, which is from is Aiden. He says, um, do you think watches in general are threatened by all these smartwatches and Garmin fashion watches coming out? First off, I want to say thank you for your question and it is a brilliant question, so let's get into it. So are watches threatened by smartwatches and fashion watches? Now, in my opinion, it's a very easy no. Um, and the reason being is smartwatches are completely different to watches. A watch like this has one purpose and one purpose only, to tell the time. Now obviously, if you have a chronograph, you can time things, but in general, it is all to do with time. Whereas a smartwatch has lots of other uses, such as checking your emails, doing all this kind of stuff. Now, in my opinion, that tailors towards a different person entirely to the ones who are into horology. Me, me being into horology, I want on my wrist something that just tells the time. I have enough distractions as it is with my phone, and if I need to check something it makes more sense for me personally to pull out my phone rather than check my watch um, you know for an email and tapping on a little screen that's just my opinion but I understand a lot of people out there really like them now where I think it comes in I actually think these sort of watches are helping the watch industry and you might be like wait what why because there's people out there who would have never even wanted to buy a watch a watch to them is pointless it's just why why would you even have something on your wrist when the time is on your phone right so they're buying these smart watches not for the time but for everything else and I think they're gonna start realizing the joy of having a wristwatch. At the end of the day, theirs has all these different functional functionalities, but I think they're going to want to get into something with a lot less complications, you know. With the battery times of them, let's be honest, they're pretty dreadful. You're looking at charging every single night, which is quite a lot. So I think they're going to get into these different watches, and sure, I think the way it will go, if they get a smartwatch, they may get a fashion watch. Now, a fashion watch is that next step, in my opinion. A fashion watch, I've owned a few. I've owned a Ben Sherman. At the end of the day, my accuracy is considered a fashion watch, um, but I still enjoy it. Now that really, the fashion watches really bring people in because it's that next step. Anything that gets people into horology, in my opinion, is good. fashion watches are usually some cheap crappy quartz, let's be honest, and they're just overly designed. Like the design with lots of gold flashy things and crystals and diamonds, and they're usually pretty horrible now sure you can get maybe a daniel wellington which is a lot more tasteful um you know really clean dial it's got it's very thin it's a tasteful watch um but i think after that that people will want to try something else they'll want something with a bit more history maybe with a bit more class a bit more style which is where these sort of watches come in like this has got so much history and it's it looks great in my opinion you know with the gold and the brown strap it's just brilliant it's a beautiful watch it has history i think a lot of people will change to this sort of stuff after buying them sort of um, fashion watches and stuff like that. And at the end of the day, some of the smartwatches are very, very expensive. You know, you've got the Tag Heuer, um, which one was it? The Carrera, they bought our new Carrera. Um, I'll try and put a picture up here and it's a smartwatch. Now I think that costs within the region of a thousand pounds plus. You've obviously got the Apple watches which are, are quite expensive as well. Now for them sort of prices for a smartwatch, you can get a very, 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 very good reliable automatic watch from like Seiko or something. People are gonna to start to realize, or at the end of the day, if someone owns one of them Tag Heuer um, Carreras, that the smartwatch, or maybe even the gold, a lot of people say about the gold, um, the gold Apple Watch. Now in my opinion, if that person has bought a gold Apple Watch, they more than likely have a few Rolexes and Omegas and stuff like that also. Um, I, I, I struggle to believe that someone has just bought a smartwatch for like however many thousands of pounds it is and doesn't own any other watches at all. Now, when it gets to that kind of price range, I think it's more of a, a statement owning that Apple watch rather than anything else. So in my opinion, they probably do have some other watches. They don't, they definitely should. Yeah, I think if anything, it's a gateway into horology. I think it's great because it doesn't seem to be affecting the sales of watches. Watches in general have become less and less popular, but they're starting to increase again. Popularity of especially automatic and manual winding watches is increasing over quartz you know 
Uh, it's going to be a long time until it ever does because a lot of people buy more quartz than any other watch type. It's just, it's a fact. But I think it's getting more popular again. And I think that is due to the fact that there's so many fashion watches out there that people want something a bit different. You know, they don't want to be seen with just another Daniel Wellington on their wrist because at the end of the day, I see so many of them as well. So right now, having this 1950s Accurist is definitely a lot different. It gets people talking. It's like, well, what is that? You know, it's got a plain white face. It's got gold accents. It's very nice. It's very tasteful. I think this is really going to, that really really changes a lot of people's opinions because at the end of the day who wants to have the same watch that 20 million people have got you know the Invictors everyone seems to have an Invictor you know and it really brings people onto this sort of what's different what is unique what has some some sort of personality to it like more than just something for time like this is this has personality so like I said let me get to the point because I've been rambling way too long but I think it's perfect because it's bringing people on to watches onto pure horology. So people who buy smartwatches and fashion watches usually tend to go into that direction of horology. I did, I started off with an Accurist um, and a Seconda. They're considered, well, the Accurist is considered a fashion watch now and the Seconda is just sort of like a generic, easy going watch. Um, so yeah, that really brought me into horology. So I think that it does that for a lot of people and I think that's brilliant. So at the end of the day, I don't think the watch industry is threatened by it because they, they seem to be doing just fine. Um, you know, sales wise, I think they're on the increase. I don't take my word for that, but I think they are. If it's different, let me know. I will probably never buy a fashion watch again, and I would definitely will never buy a smartwatch because I just don't like them. Um, but yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and uh, definitely share your opinions on this subject down in the comment section. Get a little conversation going, and don't forget to leave some questions for the next Talking Watches episode. So uh, take care, guys.